I've been asked several times how we store the Optimus dinghy on the boat when we're sailing. Um, it's not something I did a lot of filming because it wasn't, strictly speaking, a maintenance blog. But what footage I did find, I've now edited together and put it into this maintenance blog so you can see how I did it. I wanted to make a cradle with as few parts as possible uh, because it would be, make it easier to deploy and also easier to store. So it's not long before we leave now and we've still got a few jobs to finish off on the boat. One of the jobs I kind of forgot about was actually making a mount for the new oppie that we got in the in Christmas. Uh, we got an oppie for the kids to go sailing um, and we kind of figured we were going to store it on the foredeck which sounds easy but when we actually tested it it covered the hatches and it stopped the hatches from opening which is obviously a safety issue. So um, I found a piece of old planking in the boatyard when we were there and, and I've cut it up and shaped it to the uh, shape of the deck. To get the curve of the deck on the piece of wood, basically what I did was place the piece of wood on its end on the deck and then used a pencil on top of a little upstand, which could be a, a cork or a random piece of wood, and then just followed the curve of the deck and then drew the curve with the pencil on the piece of wood. Then it's just a matter of cutting it out with a jigsaw. I then made some upstands cut to the dimension of the Optimus dinghy, bearing in mind that the dinghy will be stored upside down on the deck. The other thing is I needed to get some doweling as well to fit the little fixture bits on the side, um, like this. So the oppie can stand just a little bit above the hatches, um, but I needed some doweling and obviously with the hardware shops being closed um, I couldn't get hold of any so I kind of had to uh, raid the kids craft box and uh, get some of these modeling sticks and uh, I've cut them up into, uh, into bits of doweling which is what I'm going to use to attach these bits to the top. Um, it's all measured up, it all seems to kind of fit really well, we can get both hatches open. Um, just a matter of putting it together now um, and then mounting the oppie. So I drilled four holes, half the depth of the dowels and stuck them in place with Gorilla Glue. and did the same with the mounting upstands. The way I get the doweling holes to line up perfectly, by the way, is I put a little bit of wet paint or wet felt tip on the ends of the doweling and then put the upstand on top and then just tap it on top of the dowlings. And so the imprint of that paint or ink is then left on the upstand. And then it's just a matter of drilling them out. Once in place, I clamped them together to squeeze that glue right into all of the gaps and to make a seamless join. I chamfered the ends to make them stick out less and to avoid being a tripping hazard. I decided also to add some removable legs 90 degrees to the existing stand just to give the structure a little bit more stability. So I'm just um, making a couple of feet for the, uh, the stand for the Optimist um, because they tend to kind of, if they get a bit of force, they basically fall flat. So they should hold them rigid. Actually, the good thing about um, these uh, pontoons is you can actually utilize the gaps in the uh, in the decking to use as a as a saw hole so you can get your jigsaw in between the gap there and still saw so finally I'm just giving it a coat of uh, yoke varnish all over 
especially in the joints. So it's a two-part uh, yacht varnish. So that should survive on deck. So the oppie is placed upside down on the cradle and then just tied in place with some crisscross lines from the cleats and the turnbuckles on the two tow rails. So we've sailed thousands of miles with the dinghy stored like this. Uh, we've taken it up the rivers to the Amazon jungle. We've sailed it in the Sandblast Islands of Panama, where the local Kuna Indian kids and our kids uh, shared their experience of the different waterborne crafts that they use. And if you want to see how it's sailed properly, just check out Darry's video on his new YouTube channel. What we'd really like to do is upgrade to one of these inflatable cats, um, which we tried in Cabo de Gato in Spain. Uh, but uh, so far, all my uh, cheeky appeals for sponsorship have fallen on deaf ears. I love it. I, I'm going to save up for one, definitely. So thanks for watching and a special thank you to our patrons who keep us going through good times and bad. If you found this blog useful and you're the type of person who likes to return a favour, then you can buy me a beer by following the links to PayPal or Patreon in the description below. And now you can also buy one of our crew shirts by following the links to our merch store 